Yes, Mr. Speaker, floor presentation number two is House Resolution number 300, honoring and commending Gladys Gladdy Burrow for being the oldest woman in the world to complete a marathon. This resolution is offered by Representatives Ward and Herkes. Representative Ward. Mr. Speaker, I move for the adoption of the resolution. Representative Herkes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I proudly second the motion. It has been moved and seconded that the resolution be adopted. Any discussion? Representative Ward. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, we've honored state champions here. We've honored national champions. But I don't think we've ever honored a world champion, someone in the Guinness Book of Records for being the oldest person to ever finish a marathon at age 92. I'm going to ask that person to stand, and I want to tell you a bit about her. Gladdy, will you stand? Gladys Gladdy Barrow. Let's hear a round of applause for the oldest lady. The first thing you should know is that she likes to go by the word Gladdy. Her name was Gladys because when her father died at a very young age with black lung disease, working in a silver mine, he said, Gladys, I want you to go by Gladdy because I want you to be happy. I want you to be a joy to the world. She was born in La Center, Washington, November 23rd, 1918, and grew up at a time, Mr. Speaker, when women didn't have too many rights. In those days, they couldn't even vote, as a matter of fact. But with the hardship she grew up in, and this will be a surprise to you for somebody who can finish a marathon at age uh, 92, it wasn't the poverty she grew up in. It wasn't because there were a lot of kids in the family with a lot of bowels and pieces, because she had polio with all of the muscular systems of the body as a child. And some of you know there's an adult version of polio, if you remember Representative Stegmaier, who shared that with us. But Gladdy ignored those obstacles. She ignored those hardships. And she went on with her husband of 69 years, Eugene Burrell, to found one of the largest family-owned lumber companies in Southern Oregon. In business or out of business, Gladdy lived life to the fullest. As an airline pilot, she's flown many multi-engine airplanes. As a hiker, she's traversed the deserts of Arizona, scaled the summits of Mount Hood, and recently renewed her driver's license in the state of Oregon at age 92, and it expires when she's 98. Think about that horizon. She says there's a secret to her longevity, but we don't have time to give it today, and maybe at another time there'll be an opportunity. But I gave her, you know, the doctors tell you there's heredity, there's environment, and what you eat. And she said, you know, you're missing one. And this is the one that I, if she does come back again, she'll share. She says, that's attitude. How you think is so, so key. Gladys lives in the district for the gentleman who speaks Tagalog now in Waikiki, part-time. And otherwise, she is part-time in Oregon as well as Hawaii. Every day, she power walks 8 to 10 miles. Mr. Speaker, that's an average of 50 miles per week, 2,600 miles per year. That almost gets you across the United States. And those who have seen Forrest Gump know that you just keep running and running and running, and she's still running and running and running. But she was not always a marathon winner. <coughs> nor a marathon runner. In fact, it was until she was at the ripe age of 86 that she entered the 2004 Honolulu Marathon. She power walked the entire 26.2 miles and then repeated it again in 2005, 2006, 2007. Speaker, she was on a roll. She can do this. And then in 2008, she purposed in her heart, I'm going to break the world record for her age group. That's age group 90 to 94. That's the group that she was competing in. But as she got into the 2008 race, 1.2 miles before the finish line, she stopped. She had no more gas left. She really tried hard to complete the race because it was going to be in honor of her husband who had just passed away. It made it tough and very disappointing for her, but like some of us who would quit, give up, and say, well, I tried. She got more motivated and tried again in the next year, in 2009. In 2009, she got to mile 16 and got sick to her stomach, had to stop. Now, if that's not enough reason to make you stop, why would 2010 be any different? She tried again in 2010. 
She got more motivated, more inspired, and on the morning of Sunday, December 12th, at the age of 92, Gladdy ran, got weak, and got 500 feet before the finish line, and she sat down at the curb at Kapilani Park. According to the publicist, she was overcome by emotion. According to my discussion with her this morning, she Representative said, Revere, excuse me, Representative Ward. I yield my time. Thank Please you. proceed, Representative Ward. Speaker, she sat down, she, had a, she said she had to have a talk with God. After that talk, she stood up and was inspired by the Marathon Hall of Famer, Jimmy Muindi from Kenya, who walked along her side. And from there, Speaker crossed the finish line at nine hours, 53 minutes, and is now the Guinness World Book of World Records holder, replacing Jenny Wood Allen, who at age 90 held the record. Mr. Speaker, this lady has proved to herself, to the world, and hopefully all of us here on this floor, that through hard work, inspiration, that you can do what you set your heart to do. It's great to know that we have a kapuna in the Guinness World Book of Records. And if we ever feel too tired, too old, too lazy, we can remember her today, who we honor for being the oldest woman, the oldest young woman who showed us in the world that she can do what she purposed in her heart to do. Speaker, she wanted to address the group, to say some some things about how Hawaii has inspired her. Perhaps at another time we can do that. And I know there's three presentations today, so we have not the time. But I would ask my colleagues now to join me in a resounding round of applause for Hedy, who I thought was standing up. You sat down. Hedy, please stand up and be acknowledged as the oldest woman in the world to do what you've done. Thank you. God bless you. Now, the gentleman who's just risen to his feet is her son, Mike. Mike, stand up. Mike is an accomplished businessman. He just received the award for, I think it was called the, what is it? The, anyways, it was an award for all of his business acumen, which follows the 69 years as the owner of the lumber company. Mike has flown in specifically, Mr. Speaker, just for today, just to honor his mother. Mike, thank you for joining us. Let's give Mike a round of applause. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, in the gallery are two important people because they are linked to the Honolulu Marathon that made this possible. Mr. Pat Bigold, Bigold, Director of Media Relations, would you stand and be recognized? Pat, for all that you've done. You got him on TV and the radio. Pat, are you up there? There you are. He's standing with his hand at the back. He's taking some good pictures. Also, Mrs. Jeanette Chun, Treasurer of the Honolulu Marathon. Mrs. Jeanette Chun. Jeanette, thank you very much. Thank you for the inspiration. And Mr. Speaker, now I yield to the elder state statesman from the Big Island, the man who, if he has any words of wisdom, will show all of us that he too and we too can be old, wise, and strong. I yield. Representative Herkes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and strong support. When I came in the room, I said to Gladys, I said, you know, I'm the oldest one in the room until you walk in. Uh, and I said, I'm 80. She said, you're just a youngster. Uh, I want to congratulate you. and. and Everybody support this. Is there any further discussion? Representative Marumoto. Thank you. I would like to say just a few words uh, in favor of the resolution. Please proceed. Um, now, Mr. Speaker, Giuseppe Verdi wrote the opera Aida at age 86, and Grandma Moses produced great art at age 88, and Gladys Burrell was proved that she could run marathons at age 92. So these folks are my role models, as, along with uh, the representative from um, the Big Island. So I look forward to composing an opera one of these days, producing great paintings, and also running marathons. Congratulations, Gladdy. Thank you. Thank you very much. If there is no further discussion, all those in favor say aye. Aye. The motion is carried. Representative Ward, please proceed with the presentation of the certificate and lay.